We're dropping bombs and moving destroyers and making threats, entering countries' waters. A country that will do that abroad will also do that at home, and that's why we must understand that the war abroad and at home are intimately linked. today is to fight back against the encroaching police state here in the United States. Because my friends, make no mistake, when we see what's happening in Portland, Oregon, with federal officers kidnapping protesters, disappearing protesters in vans, we have to be clear on what this is. Because this rebellion that we're seeing in the streets all across this country, and we saw it right here in D.C. too, that's why this fence is up. But what is happening in the streets is a revolt against racism. And when we see federal officers in the streets of Portland, and we see Donald Trump saying that, well, Chicago is next. And he's talking about, well, maybe Philadelphia, New York will be next after that. What we're seeing simply is a counterinsurgency against that revolt against racism. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! We still fully intend to defund D.C. police. Uh, the D.C. police have pushed back even against the tepid reforms that the city government has put forth. The city council passed a $15 million cut to the D.C. budget, but we have to remember that Mayor Muriel Bowser wanted to give them $8.5 million, excuse me, um, wanted to give them um, $18.5 million, if memory serves. And so they decreased the increase, but it's still an increase. So even though the D.C. police have a budget of over half a billion dollars, homicides are still going up in D.C. There have been more homicides in D.C. than during this same time last year. So clearly the police do not work. And so what we're saying is we have every intention of getting, of not just decreasing the amount of money that the police get, we, we intend to take some of the money that they already have and put it right back into the hands of D.C.'s poor and working class black communities where I live down in Southeast and Congress Heights that have been under police occupation for far too long. We will not stop. We don't care how much he whines. We don't care how much he tries to get that racist, brutal police union involved. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep moving.